Today maybe it's a really simple video I am going to do. This is a very very simple thing I'm going to record. Uh, but um, yeah, it's kind of late. I don't know. Late in respect to the amplitude of the stuff that I have published in respect to, if you want to call this MT Ultra, I don't know. Um, I, I don't actually see this as, as, as some kind of MK Ultra, folks. I don't see it, not only because it was a torture that was involved in it, but I see this as, um, especially because of the title I was branded with in 2013. Paranoid Schizophrenic. I don't see this as MK Ultra anymore. What I see this when I turn around is like a desperate attempt of people who tried all along to screw me up, to destroy my life. And that's when it gets really complicated. That's when it gets really complicated. As I walked back in the night through the forest, I am not gonna forget an American. He was not the first one though. I was drugged up and we walked through the forest together, not too far from here. And um, he's very quietly talking to me next to me as he walks. And he says, he says, Bob, he says, you know, you're drugged up, right? I said, yeah. Yeah, I am drugged up, and when I say yeah, I'm drugged up, I'm thinking about the people involved in this case. The amplitude of the people that got involved in this case. This happened sometimes in 97. Strange, because it was maybe maximum two guys like this that they try to alert me <clears throat> I suppose and um, when guys did that I actually got even upset with them I have to be honest about this I got upset with them I was like, I didn't feel right about being drugged up for one thing, but because of the clientele, because of the people that were involved in this stuff, such a big royals, American elites, presidents, Congress people, senators, anything you want. No, actually, anything you could think as someone that would eventually impact a government decisions in respect of just any policy in the country. UK, Germany, USA and so on this occasion it didn't end like this yet but at later point I got actually upset with the guys because this issue repeated and sometimes in 99 I, I lost temper about it I lost I simply lost temper about it because I didn't feel good about myself as I stated being drugged up and because I didn't get anywhere with it uh, and it always repeated the same thing. So I'm not sure whether they tried to alert me or was it something extra to it. The last time that happened might have been, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. 2002, maybe, something like this. Yeah, and that was it. 
but tonight when I walked and I recall this 1997 might have been 96 but 1997 1997 was must have been 1997 because I was very self-assured that nothing really could possibly go wrong with it now the guy walking right next to me and saying hey, Bob you know you're drugged up right and I, I was I didn't like the fact that I was drugged up and so because of certain issues that I experienced or really humiliating I mean, under MK Ultra, I was uh, maybe on the fan side and so I answered him so what so what and he kept going and he said you know you're going to be mentally ill right you know that you are going to be mentally ill and i said to him no i said why would i be mentally ill now i'm giving you a complete complete breakdown of the psychological mind how it operates how my mind operated i i told him not because i would make the decisions that at times they would be just striking decisions that people that were not drugged up would be proven wrong not because of that not because of uh, because I would be self-assured that um, the world around me is not only made out of wealthy powerful people uh, but a simple reasoning when he stated this right and so I'm thinking that there is a third option that's also possible huh? so that he stated this stuff so that I would even take stronger stand against um, you know possibility that you eventually that I possibly could become mentally ill because of being drugged up you know really I experienced these drugs uh, I understood already far more than what I stated about this MK Ultra about different types of drugs at that point it doesn't come to you it only comes to you when you go back in time and you start connecting dots together and then it's the whole different world that opens in front of you um, fact of the matter is that based on my psychological evaluation of myself which I always paid enormous astronomical amount of attention and I'm not gonna forget in 1995 when I walked with this Daniel Rex Smith he engaged in the stage number one was completely completely C with exactly whom he's got to do it and this guy would continue he, this guy would evaluate me for like at least six months here and there I would meet with him to evaluate me I would walk along him and he would do stuff, talk to me about the stuff and seek the response, to see just whom exactly he deals with. He did this so much that I send them, excuse me, my expression to the motherfucker land because I couldn't take it anymore because this guy was just plain asshole I figure out. He was happy. 
all the time with a stupid shit like giving you just an example manipulation subject if I know what manipulation is if I mind being manipulated that some people for instance like being manipulated he just he would just turn around and just proceed into the direction to see what what the response is going to be in fact that some people want to be manipulated he wants to know whether that kind of stuff he searched for different responses to the different issues it was uh, that much that I lost my temper and I'm sure it was not in 96 I think it was in 95 maybe in 96 if he dragged all the way to 96 I don't know but I did at one point I did and they accused me of being rough with him uh, some of those evaluations were really real asshole kind of evaluations I did spoke about you know all kinds of stuff the guy that would he would use random individuals that would come and just push one or even slap one and stuff like this and would avoid confronting them wanted to arrange everything in a civilized way to see how I'm going to respond to it and a multitude of things multitude of things really annoying stuff mm, from beginning is not and it was different stages but anyhow you see the thing is that when you say somebody if he knows that he's going to be mentally ill and you even proceed and you say you know you're mentally ill right you say this to somebody who is drugged up and he understands he is well aware of his surroundings people uh, his response is going to be basically logical one based on completely something logical uh, answer is of course it's not why, why would you be mentally ill you didn't drug yourself up somebody else did based on the people that you see you don't actually have that much to worry about or maybe you do and that's something I'm going to discuss next but that is a subliminary way to influence a jerked up individual to take even stronger stand against seeing himself in a dire danger yeah because you're now saying yourself that you can be actually that stuff that they're doing obviously you're not mentally ill your knowledge you understand you know how to deal with the people you know even jucked up you you become responsive to different issues they confront you with still you don't know what exactly can happen out of this um continuous mk ultra sessions you want to refer to them as such you don't know what where this can take to you have no idea how far this stuff can go right so you shouldn't say that like on a second issue that i i told him no you know no that's what he wanted he wanted no you know he wanted to build assurance in me between the warning between all that stuff that repeated and when I think about 2002 eventually why I said this third possibility it's because it was Andrew who stated in 2002 when the same thing repeated the same kind of stuff he said leave him alone he said leave him alone don't you don't you understand that don't you understand don't you understand that you know Andrew Prince Andrew 
so more likely than you know warning and all that stuff you know I'm thinking that it could be something else warning is one thing really when this stuff goes on you don't know what exactly the results are gonna be what can come out of it now I was blessed by God by my father almighty to have not become mentally ill but I have to tell you that on two occasions I don't know exactly what mentally ill is. I don't know. Probably. I was trying all my life to understand what mentally ill is. And the only thing I can come to conclusion being mentally ill. It would probably be something that you're not accountable for your actions that you're not that you don't that you don't actually your responses don't match required coordinated synchronized to circumstances response I would say that's to me that's like mentally ill basically because I feel that person doesn't have to, you know, there are probably different types of responses that person would project, but a lot of these responses could have come as an outcome out of the person due to multitude of, of, of issues that might have been done that person have experienced throughout life uh, or just as I said what also could be something that individual could be born with this mental illness probably that would be something that would be a lack of synchronized coordination uh, response coordinated synchronized coordinated response to circumstances to environment to you know to tasks whatever you know uh, probably there is a whole set of you know I'm not really specialist psychiatry psychologist something like this but I'm trying to really discern draw the fine line between someone who cannot resort himself to even a place, so to say, safe place to sleep. And therefore somebody who is continuously subjected to environment in which you have no control whatsoever. And or somebody who eventually is as I stated, maybe born with this uh, mental issue or have gone through a certain trauma or something. It could be maybe the same response. Uh, maybe not. The main issue here for me tonight when I walk back in this forest and I was thinking about this guy one thing I have to say I acknowledged what he stated and I rationalized what he stated is not probable in fact even impossible because over the course of the time when they blew this idea uh, a, a really unappealing idea and you're already so you become such an insubordinate slave I mean the stuff these people did on me is, is incredible in, in the most disgusting sense that you just reject 
you know the possibility of something like this that you're just you just you, you actually you become unreal about it you're not you're not considering that but here is the question why you see this is the main question what exactly happened i would say bob what exactly happened to you why why did you felt so secure you see that's where the problem is that's i already stated earlier this was the people that were involved in it and it was all this time that i asked myself over and over again i said to myself why the hell would this royals you know um <laughs> this is the problem again no it always goes it this is a very very complex issue this brainwash of the human being it's extremely extremely complex it's not the answers i was looking you know to obtain when asking myself these questions i couldn't find the answers from perspective i was looking forward to them tonight finally there's a lot of stuff that came to me you know what the fuck uh they exercised a tremendous lie for every royal female related that got married to somebody before she got married of course they had already fiances and stuff they had husband chosen already all that stuff but they wanted for every one of those for every one of those they wanted to make sure that i acknowledged that I acknowledged that I was viewed next to humiliations, next to torture. I told you they have these Hollywood people that would go for a visit to them and stuff, then they would use them to transfer uh, from the US to Europe, back and forth, Canada, and this and that. They use people like this. And so I would find myself in really crazy, insane settings around royals themselves at times. Philip was the one that really, really averted this crap, bullshit jokes, MK Ultra, sickening stuff. But others were no different. But he was just really obsessed with me, with with idea to have me around and do all kinds of he just wanted for him it was like a day wasted boy if, if he had a chance to not poke some joke and in my expense it was a day wasted for this guy and i liked him i liked him because he was an older man you see frankly nothing i wouldn't do for him because this was a father from charles from andrew and you see that's where the problem goes that's where the problem goes they were building all along this special kind of relationship with me this kind of relationship that made me feel like special in fact part of the family in fact i was told by charles andrew to view myself as a brother of the two by queen that she devoted me a, a room she did there was a small room that was empty very long time next to the angels in the buckingham palace and voila and then they talk about something that she even whatever did some ritual in respect to title or whatever no i don't buy any of that stuff and i also reject that this is no fucking way if i would say that i am such and such and this and that fuck that i would say sebastian dan or bob let's say that you're fucking crazy i would say this is not the way to view yourself and that's why i think in fact i really really properly have estimated a ratio between the possibility of my becoming mentally ill uh, and a manipulation in that aspect 
because if you manage to convince somebody that he's mentally ill and he's not this was mine he's gonna start to act like one and there you have it because that's all it takes I remember the guy when I grew up with in the school that he had a problem he had not inherited but he was born with a mental disability and his disability however was controllable but the system the, the system in this Yugoslavia it was to be in Yugoslavia it just rejected one you wouldn't give him equality basically in the school settings even that with work you never know maybe this guy would eventually even somehow manage to overcome these disability issues mind is extremely extremely it's like a universe it's like it's a or maybe not I don't know enough about this I'm not a health mental health excuse me expert I don't know I'm not a neurosurgeon I'm not a brain surgeon I don't know enough about this stuff I don't know what his specific situation was but I know for sure that the violence that the schoolmates started to implement on behalf of teachers had a severe impact on this person and before you know he was losing himself more and more he had a difficulty to track school settings um, you know follow up and uh, you know deal with the issues and not only his grades suffered uh, but he completely completely lost himself you now to a degree I'm just giving this as an example on one two occasions literally will come to me that really defended him even from others and have mistaken me for somebody that did just something to him and would you know try to fight me and stuff like this <sighs> they tried something similar with me too the greats did suffer it but in contrast to this man I saw a bullying like athletic contest like something you go and you go and you run and simply um, life and it's it's not only running but you got to jump over the obstacles and uh, when we were running and we had this obstacles on a on a in this race in this sprint and you would jump over this uh, I don't know barriers I don't know what how you say that in at times to accomplish the best result or whatever <laughs> uh it, it, it did happen it didn't happen to me but the guys who did this like that did go completely into this uh, athletic uh, discipline they would go and they would fucking push the opponent you know the how you say techmets um competition you would go and you would just boom him you know and the other guy would just fell down boom all over the place and have his knees bleeding and stuff like this on a bike race the same thing a schoolmates that did race bikes at times they didn't look good to me boy they were like bad it suffered this uh, injuries told me about the they would go somewhere on a competition to Eastern Europe or they would have maybe some Russian source or whatever from whatever I'm not nothing in that sense absolutely not against Russians you know kid is a kid and then the competition is healthy it's good all that stuff is all good I said that that's that's already difference with me 
when it comes to that. You see, I I don't tend to run from the competition. I don't tend to even avoid the close meeting if it's necessary. I never did. For me, it was just a part of life. In fact, I learned that If you tie somebody enough from watching him, how he actually faded away, uh, he can suffer bad grades. I learned this by observing the schoolmates. He can eventually, because it did happen to me, just, you know, about 10 kids going on you and it's not good and you take stuff home and you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it does have a severe psychological impact on you. It, but the thing about it is, about me, what made me different was not only did I hit back and got this opponent sometimes completely pummeled, but I would go on to get another piece of them when they would not expect. And would return and would really target in a same fashion their greats. I wanted them to suffer just as much as they did to me. Because I realized that when it comes to mental health, that it's it's got a lot to do with the physical strength. It's got a lot to do with other issues as well. It's not only that, that mental, you know, mental. This is what this guy never did. He became completely shy and eventually they destroy him. They, they, they totally rip him apart. But this was the system's fault. This was a very violent system. Uh, eventually he faded away and ended in this first in the school for the special education. I don't even know. This was a very, very, very sad story. Yeah. I know, I have written about already, and I don't want to go into it, because it's just too many sad stories, okay? I don't want to go over every one of them. Now, so that means that you get worn, worn out psychologically, and then you, basically you quit, and it's pretty much you don't respond, your response is not competent, it's not synchronized, it's not it's not as, ex as it should be expected according to the normatives of individuals experiencing similar circumstances as yours, you see. So I said that the problem was not any of the above. The biggest problem was my answer. No, that cannot happen to me. No way. No, that cannot happen to Bob. Bob was my name, Bob. And the MTR called me also Robert. No way. No, that cannot happen to me. No way. How, I wanted to know. Why? How? How, I, how are you going to do this stuff to me by what I see right now, what, what I do, as I stated, some of my decisions were more sound than from people that were not subjected to the drugs. So I wanted to know, on well, a few times I tried to obtain the answer from these guys. Why? How? What are you going to do about this stuff? So the only thing that came to my mind is they would give you some kind of pill or some shit like this that would eat like a map by your brain or something like this, or they would just, I don't know, squeeze the shit out of your brain with electroshocks or something like this. How otherwise, you got to physically harm or something like this to do. And because of the people I was around with, I felt no fucking way that can happen to me. <laughs> this Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, Queen Elizabeth, Princess Anne, uh, 
all these people that I meet or whatever they meet me that I come in. I'm always wonderful to them. I'm always nice to these people. Exceptionally nice with them. I never learned I absolutely, absolutely never learned to separate the stuff that was done to me by these same people, using different people, but sometimes even in their circles. The stuff that you would attribute to pure evil and the stuff that you would attribute to somebody who is doing to you stuff like this actually that try to make you believe make you believe that you are special in fact that you're even part of the family trust me this is the biggest fucking problem i had that one right there that was such a big problem that it totally shadowed the issue that took power over me uh, for all the problems that on the side that that I experienced uh, I just sidelined them I, I was like it was done so proficiently so efficiently it was always it's for your own good it always was they are doing this to you they they over the day they in Eastern Eastern Europeans are doing this you know, they, because they knew that I fucking hated Milan Kucha, and they knew that I hated this. The Russians, when once, the Serbs, once they did that shit to me, they, they knew my character. I'm not going to let go. And it was always that we have to do that stuff to you so they don't blame us. And, no, this stuff was all coordinated. They all coordinated, they coordinated this stuff with one another. They coordinated. They coordinated, I was, I have proven beyond the doubts, the first person who received this school of, London school of how to make people vote for you in Slovenia was Milan Kuchan. Come on, eh? And then I was teased with this issue. There was no what i hoped for would be like different parties and stuff like this no freaking way i was a, i was a sardina sardine 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 fish small i was in their eyes i uh, the only importance i had is basically whatever they were able to get through me and at the same time since day one, these people built that shadow that I don't know how to say shadow in, in Slovenian, it's a sensor, sensor smurty, shadow of death, which this guy and other guys did mention you're going to be mentally ill, don't you know? You're going to be mentally ill. Issue I continued to neglect. Eventually turned over course of the time into a tremendous uh, Colossus, I don't know how you would say this in English, but will that would start to roll and in 2010 when I came back from Norway I was so angry I was angry at the whole world. I was uh, so angry 
that all the stuff they talked to me about under MK Ultra. You know, I was so angry that when they told me under MK Ultra that you're gonna go to the mental hospital just days before they did hospitalize me in 2013. I was so angry at the world that I was sure my going inside in there would be actually a really really good thing for me just so that the world is whole can feel my wrath I was so decided that all the stuff they talked to me about uh, under MK Ultra is not to will use until the end of time and eventually walked right inside of the hospital with so much anger that will exit one basically without even like a little scratch on on my brain, mind, psych if you want. That's how angry I was. I wanted the whole world to feel my breath. I, I wanted especially those that claim injustice against them and we're doing this kind of stuff on behalf of these wealthy people to regret the most because I felt that in a situation as I was you know I felt that it shouldn't be that claiming injustice and at the same time siding with the people against whom you claim injustice uh, and doing this kind of stuff is just um, contrary to, to any, any standards and ethics in which I deeply always believed in. I, 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 I believed that was another mistake. I, I believed a lot in this ethics in a human ethics I was naive in respect to this human rights and and uh, organization of the police about the police I was naive as hell I didn't realize that there were three people three investigators that a police here, a local director of, of police, and the other guy that went to Ljubljana also to become a director of the police, used to track every detail. They always had a, one of these detectives, police officers, off duty, like if he would have to do some whatever, they would always get one on a special detail, you, that's what you say, that's what you refer to the stuff like this, a special detail, and he would participate like a shadow. I always noticed there were some other people when I was jerked up and, and I interacted with brainwashers, including my mom and father or whatever, it's, there was always a shadow, there was always this other guy, who the hell wouldn't talk to me and it would just be right there and so they had these people that would fucking lock every little detail everything they wanted to see and experience and I stayed they have had in fact even in plan to orchestrate if necessary something bad so they would portray me as uh, possibly even 
as someone who have done something, you know, caused crime, did something to parents, to whatever. Even this, even that kind of stuff. When it comes to royals, the first time I recall what I have noticed is, is this a whole ocean of this subliminary gestures around me. The first time when I noticed Buckingham Palace, Prince Harry and Prince William doing something that made me extremely uncomfortable because it was like portraying me views through eyes of psychiatry not through literally through the eyes of someone that in fact I definitely was not literally portraying me views around me through the eyes of somebody that would write the royal title known as paranoid schizophrenia like somebody that would be um, they would display totally distorted picture about how to view a basically things as the first time that I came across that that I interacted like this with a William and a Harry was 2013 all of a sudden something I've not seen before started the two would come sit next to me they would have these journalists always they would have people from different houses politicians they would interact back and forth um, and they wanted me to interpret the news not in a normal mind pattern not in a pattern that you would that you would that it would be based on observation, based on, on, you know, a knowledge in something about something you, you know about something, but it would be, it was based basically on a totally different mental uh, approach. Basically, seeing things as something for what you wouldn't have clue, you wouldn't have proofs, you wouldn't have and inside it in this kind of thinking through the use of this stories they wanted me to write about and push forward a whole set of all kinds of uh, conspiracies, all kinds of stupid stuff that was just uh, not really something that, that it would be... Basically, I couldn't see myself in that kind of stuff, in that kind of uh, thinking pattern. Nice and news audits in Slovenian language. I couldn't I couldn't see myself according to that pattern. That was not just my blueprint of reasoning. No, I couldn't that kind of deductive reasoning I hope I did express myself properly. It just it it just didn't project me. It was just something that I said to myself if I would if I would reason in in a way like this, then uh, 
probably I would very soon, if I should say, if I would start to learn to reason like this, probably the people that labeled me with something like paranoid schizophrenia would obtain a factual proof that they would they would actually be given uh, the wanted MK Ultra result. You know, if you go back to this guy who said, "Don't you know you're mentally ill? Don't you know you will be mentally ill? Don't you know they're making you mentally ill?" and so on and so forth. Yeah. So the mistake was not, I learned the mistake was not in or I should rather say the mistake was. The mistake was in self-assurance that something like this cannot be done. And this whole thing, this whole concept even this, what I stated right now, was based on a trust, on a fucking trust, believe it or not. Yeah, that brings me to the next level. I don't want to say that trust is a mental illness, but it can become. If you are over trusty, if you give too much credit to someone that ungoingly is parading, is marching at you, with a multitude of issues and have prepared this big wheel of problems that he's about to push down the hill at you and he keeps going with this stuff uh, pointing in the other direction you could you could have a real real problem related to a mental illness because it's that kind of stuff that can really destroy you a trust can be deadly this is why any price I paid and I really did acted foolish too at times friendly at times really angry less and less during the last two years because it became more and more evident already during my stay in Poland what these people had groomed me for all along it was other locations it was not only here in Slovenia this place here and I had opportunity to go elsewhere and see this and meet the people and recall the memories it wasn't about the Polish and uh, Czech and whatever people only it was about these people Americans about how they they projected the stuff British and so on and a lot of bad stuff in the warehouse they pushed at me that had really really bad consequences for me something that um, it was a mega disappointing maybe even more when Harry got in my face sometimes in William and Harry got in my face in 2010 something like this guaranteeing me that I'm going to be thrown inside the mental hospital and I don't know what I didn't know based on what it would be such a such an anger, such a retaliative the attitude, it was just completely wild, it was just um, really, really bad attitude. Just so in the next moment again, or I should say this, the next day, it would be completely friendly. Again, you would find yourself at some party, something like this, with these people around. It's a completely different atmosphere. Joking again and all kinds of stuff like this. These people are sure that they had an MK Ultra case before. Don't pay attention to them. You're different. This time, we not. But 
for you it's going to be different than this but you see the mistake the biggest mistake in this case was a trust every British every American every foreigner German whatever it is anyone can confirm state it that I treated these people always exceptionally well regardless of the shit they have seen was done to me and so you know the thing about it is that if we don't have trust we don't have anything without the trust I would say without the trust there is no life there is nothing in this world without trust. Trust is so fucking important for me that I don't love anybody that much that I would uh, give him a trust so he, she, they could fuck around with unlimited for as long as you know what can I tell you 25 years was these people did this now it's 28 years and she don't want to acknowledge anything about it so that's what this case is all about this case is not this case is not about heh, what maybe some people would think this isn't about the stuff that was done to me I was I pointed out some really brutal disgusting stuff that was done to me by these British royals stuff that make your stomach turn around several times for each I have written really sickening stuff this is not what this case is about that's not what this case is about. This case I learned tonight walking back to what home in this forest when I was thinking about this guy. Well, he was warning me about about he was trying to I'm really grateful for this, you know. I'm really grateful because yeah, I know, it left a different kind of issue too, but that's why we are here in this world. We are here in this world to deal with these issues and to find solutions to these issues. Yeah, we learned, we learn from mistakes. Everybody does. There's nobody that will be born and that will go about without learning from mistakes. You can't learn really actually the one that makes mistakes you know that's the one that learns you gotta make mistakes you know and there is a whole set about that stuff this is also something I was told yeah you can make it once twice but not more la, 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 all that kind of stuff come on life just like this guy I don't know what this rapper is name but he's got extra kilos he told me this is not he didn't he made a song too about this stuff and too damn bad that he disappeared but he told me life he said this is not this is not about life is he said the mistake that you're making he said this isn't about today and tomorrow and uh, and you know this month or, or even this year or even two years or three years of life this is long 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 many 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 years that's life think about just how many years about the life you all make mistakes but still it's on a long term that all this counts it's not one year, it's not two years, it's not three years, whatever. It's life 
it's life and you gotta be happy because if you know this you're gonna use it properly if you don't know then you're gonna to continue to just you know lose yourself in the issues and so really the truth is that on the long term Even this kind of mistake that I made, based on trust, you know, on a long term, when I think about all these special relations and all that, I think I profited. Because it pointed to me that the core of the problem in this case mental illness wise in my problem was a trust toward these people these people have really abused me when it comes to trust they're good at abusing human trust abusing human trust it's killing hope and I think that's about the worst crime the worst thing that it gets it doesn't get any worse than that so just that you know, that you understand where I come from. Queen Elizabeth stated me, and she said, make sure they first discouraged tremendously any kind of talk about if it is a prostitutes. I don't like this name, prostitutes. Uh, sex sex workers is completely uh, sex workers these are workers like everybody else this is just the type of specialty they they just uh, due to human weakness I think it's a prostitute it's a bitch it's a whore and tra 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 that's a mental weakness I would say that people label them with such names these are sex workers worker like a worker that's what it does it gets paid maybe even less usually better whatever different lifestyle whatever different things with different people as long as it's okay you can do as long as you're okay and you don't hurt other people that's my motto but anyways she said well, that actually really, really <laughs> that actually shocked me Be careful when you write about the prostitutes. And it was like, you know, you shouldn't even write about that. But be careful when you write about that prostitute because that's going to be really determining the fate about you. Huh. Um, <clears throat> about the prostitutes, I don't even want to talk about. I think I have written about on my page exactly what I think about sex workers I'm not going to go and repeat myself um, <laughs> I'm just going to say that this this royals left me with a whole a lot of death with a lot of death because some of these sex workers did suffer trauma, psychological traumas, and uh, it might have been not even due to them who used me to cause all kinds of shit for different purposes. But already the nature of the work, it's very personal. This is extremely, extremely personal stuff. I can't actually imagine more personal than seeing for some girl somebody like myself drugged up participating over there observing this stuff and i have guys engaging in violent acts before the sex to excite the girl to excite him to to prove the girl that she's worthy or whatever that kind of stuff went on frequently i i i uh i just <laughs> i'm just gonna say on another opportunity they had me sit in front of the Queen Elizabeth Princess Anne 
participate with the lot in how I must pay attention to bags you know bags like portable bags that Queen Elizabeth is using I don't know how to say that in English bags right that is a language a whole language and then I got uh, a whole MK Ultra from Queen Elizabeth alone about you know whatever you know different signs of the what to me this stuff was entertaining but boring really to me this stuff was boring it was entertaining it was boring I am an extremely tolerant person patient So I let this ladies explain themselves, whatever. I, I was like, like, ah, okay, and what? And, uh, and, and this is going to be a, uh huh, okay. Okay, all right. But, you know what? You knew about this sex workers, and you're a, such an old lady. Yeah, that's something I was warned about too. When she's got uh, magical powers, and you're exactly the kind of uh, material, you're exactly the type that she's going to work on you. Magic when you sit with her, with this older lady, she's going to turn you into a biscuit. Uh, before you know, uh, You're gonna eat her from hand, whatever she's gonna she's gonna do with you. Like you're gonna be her rug, you know. She's really really good at that stuff. She does she just do, I don't know, to which royal that that she 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 twists them around a little finger. She does this with the guys. I was told that she's with this bag and stuff like this signals and stuff. The guys get completely uh, can do with pretty much whatever she wants with a person considering to draw the line to all this there were three different age groups that engaged in this abuse because I know now that the part that was supposedly good part that part about you know about the trust that was really really bad that was so misused that was so used to support that other bad part give an idea to the guy that that you are there for him observing him going inside of the mental hospital basically because of you and then even go further you know you take it further and you do stuff like this a shoddy stuff like this with poisoning and stuff like this to communicate you know to to remind guy of uh, you know how to see through the media how to see certain issues so he can record the memories on the on on this kind of stuff exactly the kind of stuff that pertains to definition not diagnosis but the definition of schizophrenia that that kind of trust excuse me but that's bad can be worse when you consider that there were three age groups that did this Philip Elizabeth and their kids Charles Andrew and other kids too and you already have a grandkids William Harry and it was other kids too 
grandkids, I should say. I don't want to even name. Including females. These are three age groups. And so when I when you consider all this, she's a lady. Close to a hundred. I have to say, my being half of that, 50. Age is just a number. Age is just a number. When you have, I'm not going to say half my age, Harry or William do a really, really bad stuff. One time, those are like a cups, like a kids next to Diana. I saw growing up, and it became more and more abusive. And when you have everything in between, and the oldest one saying to you to be really careful about what you write about or say about the prostitutes which means that she knew all about it then I'm going to say to you age is just a number in your case unfortunately because I really do have respect for elderly ladies but that's <laughs> that's based on trust. Now, I'm sure you understand the message. That's not going to work out with those bags, handbags, and uh, the age gap and, and all that stuff. That stuff is not going to do much here. MI5, MI6. Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigation and cover-up for Central Intelligence Agency, hijacking abductions. Supposed to be government agencies, such as Congress. Appears were privatized in this case. At best, if I want to roll the guilt from the state, from the government, if you want federal government or country. And to have the state, in this case, in Britain, that's Queen. In the U.S., is what? Presidents, Congress, what is it? People that were in debt, like Trump, became wealthy and so but still you're talking about the federal agencies security government agencies that should be privatized you're talking about the laws that bill of rights constitution that completely got substituted with uh, police doing exactly the work of criminals rather than to police I'm not going to go into a taxpayers that welfare weaponry for the Russia so that profits of few could land on a private bank accounts this is not this is not my issue here. Also, it should be every one of yours. Because I think that's a severe abuse of, you want to say, power or trust. What is it? Because, you see, this is where the government and this private enterprises, entities, 
royals are going to have to separate in, in, in this case. Or maybe not. It's okay. If the head of the state, if that's a queen, and it's the queen, the one that, uh, you know, absolutely acts on behalf of the people, makes all the decision concerning the people, the country, let them be so. Maybe, maybe I will have to address my issue exactly on her. But still, the handbags, the age, I'm going to tell you this is just a matter of trust and age. This is just a number. Thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted you to understand exactly the nature of this case what where this error in my case where was this this issue that caused me so many problems where exactly was because I know I reacted very angry I know that I snapped uh, and I said to myself I said tonight and I walked I said to myself really you know people that watch this yeah those that were involved that participated they would give me compliments all the time it was this British guy Pierce Morgan that would come often and it was a bunch of other people that they would give me compliments like they couldn't understand how the fuck am I so calm why am I so calm why am I so nice so friendly despite stuff that that was really a horror that went on well, why the hell how why do I get to treat these people always like this with respect nice and demand actually from others to treat them nice They couldn't, they couldn't get this. I couldn't get either. I couldn't get that my opinion, my view on my own, on myself, was just based on few people who participated. It was a lot of people in Britain, in the US, who have seen did not participate directly as much as you know it was a lot of people that observed this stuff they also grasped that I was a nice person that I was just friendly for numerous people too friendly for numerous people so friendly that I felt they became envious of me, angry with my being nice to these royals. Maybe at times I actually wanted to be extra nice. If I felt that people around me were just angry with me because they didn't want me to be nice with them for whatever reasons they have, those people like this around me all the time that they hated them and when they saw me being nice despite even uh, all kinds of stuff they did to convince me that these people are no good and I continue to be nice deliberately and they knew it uh, they went mad That's how nice the fuck I was. I was really, really nicest guy he possibly can meet. And I think that's what also drove this this royals crazy. And finally, you know, this this opportunity opened. In for them, I guess, they worked at this too.
eventually throw me under the bus and they did so then. I figure out that a lot of people that are not familiar that much and it's a lot of it's a big world have the right in fact to know where exactly maybe my biggest and I think so the biggest mistake was it's called trust that's all there is to it folks I hope that maybe you take a note and uh, you learn something from this one for yourself thanks for watching this video okay uh, till next time April already the 27 2022 and it's about 10 minutes after 1 o'clock in the morning